Hi, welcome to the Kitchen of Lindy Says. Today we're going to make a delicious turkey pot pie. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Lindy. Using one of these uh, linings for shelves to keep your cutting board nice and firm. Just put your cutting board on top of that and it doesn't slide. Works really, really well. Keeps it really steady and safe. Straightforward way to chop an onion. Just cut it down and then cut it across. I guarantee you, nobody is going to notice the larger pieces from the ends. You don't have to do a claw. You're not cutting a thousand of them. You're only cutting one half of an onion. And that is what we're going to use. It's about a cup and a half of onion. To that, we're going to add a half of a leek. Now this is from my garden. It's a little bit smaller than you might find in the store. So we're going to approximate another cup. And you want it thinly sliced. So you want to make sure that you clean it well. And then just slice it down. Use only the white and the light green parts. To our onions and our leeks, we have added one cup of sliced celery, both the stalk and the leaves. I like the leaves, it gives it a good flavor. About the same amount of diced carrot, a cup and a half of diced red potatoes, skins on is fine, a cup of bite-sized cut pieces of green beans. These are optional ingredients. I like green beans in mine. If you don't, don't put them in. Some mushrooms. Those will go in a couple of them because I am not eating mushrooms. And then we have about three quarters of a cup of frozen peas. We're going to saute that in about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. To our vegetables, we are going to add about a teaspoon of tarragon, fresh tarragon. You can substitute dried if you like, or you can omit it if you don't like the flavor of tarragon. Makes no difference to me. We have a teaspoon and a half of fresh thyme that's been chopped, and about a tablespoon of fresh parsley. For our roux, we're going to combine four tablespoons of unsalted butter with four tablespoons of flour. To that we are going to add two cups of homemade or low salt chicken stock. I happen to have a little bit of turkey broth left from when I cooked my turkey today since I didn't have any turkey left over from Thanksgiving because it wasn't at my house. A little bit of Bordeaux, we're going to add some white wine, use whatever you have, and one cup of heavy cream. And to that we're going to add two cups of diced turkey meat. I shredded this a little bit, but in bite-sized pieces. You can cut it nice and fine if you like, or you can um, just pull it apart into bite-sized pieces. I'm going to use some pie crust. Good old Pillsbury. You can make your own fresh, but this is a weeknight dinner. I don't have time to make pie crusts. We're going to roll those out and we're going to put them on our bowls. We're going to cut the pie crusts with a plate that's just slightly larger than the top of our bowl. And we're going to let that hang over. You'll see how that works in a minute. Everything's in its place. Let's cook. Okay, we're going to start by sauteing our vegetables and our mushrooms. Some oil and some butter for our mushrooms. We're going to add our onions. and our leeks to start. Mm -hmm. 
We don't want it too high. We want it fairly low on the temperature because we only want this to kind of sweat. We don't want it to really brown. To the mushrooms, let's add a little pinch of salt. To the veggies, let's add a little pinch of salt. And our freshly ground pepper. Those mushrooms look like they need a little bit more oil, so we're going to use some extra virgin olive oil. Same for the vegetables. Always start with the least amount of oil you can and add to it as needed. Okay, the mushrooms are getting nice and tender. To that, I'm going to add just a touch of the white wine. Let that cook down. And those will be ready to go. Our mushroom pan is just about dry. So we're going to shut those off and just let them set. Now I'm going to add the celery. The carrots. And the potatoes. Along with the green beans. vegetables get semi-soft, but they are going to cook in the oven, so don't let them get too soft. You don't want mush. Okay, so this has been cooking about 10 minutes, and I'm going to taste it now and see how it's doing. Mmm, good. It's nice and seasoned, not too much salt, not too little salt. There's going to be some salt in the roux, so I don't want to make it too salty. Vegetables are getting tender, but they're not overly tender. So I'm going to remove this from the heat now, and we're going to start our roux. Okay, over medium heat, we're going to add our butter. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, how's that? And our flour. Okay, so it's getting into a nice light brown color. You remember these as a kid, right? You used to have a lot of sauce and not a lot of meat or anything else in them. But they were really good and they were about what 39 cents or sometimes you could get them on sale for 19 cents you get them put them in the oven frozen 55 minutes later you got a really good crust with some juice to this we're now going to add slowly our chicken stock with it so you don't get any lumps helps is if everything's at room temperature. We're going to let this get a little thick. Got a 
nice pinch of salt. A few twists of freshly ground pepper. I remember that Jock and Julia used to always have an argument about whether to use black or white pepper. And Jock used black and Julia used white. And she would have definitely objected to black in this particular sauce because it's white. But I prefer the flavor. And trust me, there is a difference in flavor between white and black pepper. So, use whichever kind you like. Now we're going to add some cream, give it that creaminess. I think we're just going to add a half a cup of cream. I think that's... Mm, three quarters cup. Three quarters cup of cream. Ooh, that's good. Now at this point we're going to give it just a splash some dry sherry. Okay, remove this from the heat. Put your vegetables on. Add the sauce to the vegetables. I mean, it doesn't look beautiful there, but it does taste good. And now we're going to add our turkey. I guarantee you, we're going to have more turkey in this than you ever had in any Swansons. Scoop this into one of our dishes. We're going to put this between four. Little crocs. Whatever you have that is oven proof will work. Okay, there they are, ready to go in the oven. 400 degrees for about 30 minutes.